Ah, we're back down to zero again. I just wanted to uh, get one last shot in here for maybe a minute or two to uh, to show everybody what's going on down here. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer uh, just so you can kind of get an idea. Most of the police officers are starting to leave at the moment. Uh, they're they're taking their gear off and no more riot helmets or any of that shit. I did lose my uh, my wireless hotspot though, so I gotta go buy another one of those. Oh great, another fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, so if you want to make any donations, uh, you can send it care of Uncle Sam or send the bill to the to the uh, San Francisco uh, city government, city and county of San Francisco. Uh, at um, geez, what's the address there? Uh, Two hundred one Polk Street. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll just have to wait and go buy one on, on Monday. Uh, it's a business expense, so it's life. Anyway, we're down here at, uh, across the street from the Federal Reserve Bank at 101 Market Street, and uh, we're just watching the uh, the mop up continue of the Occupy San Francisco protests here. Uh, that's been going on for since October 5th, and uh, they managed to clear everybody out tonight. It looks like they're uh, they got some fencing here. Now I don't know whether they're going to erect that as a permanent thing or not. My guess would be no, because uh, there's a lot of people that use the sidewalk and every day, and San, uh, downtown San Francisco is somewhat crowded. So uh, I don't think they're going to be fencing at all, but as you can see, maybe you can't, but right across the street they've got some fence that it looks like they're trying to put up. Uh, maybe it's a stopgap measure to keep people from protesting down here and denying them their First Amendment rights. So. At any rate, I'm going to take off here in a minute. I just wanted to do one last... One last protest. And uh, Courtney, if you're out there, uh, happen to be watching uh, the live stream. And what I meant to say when you were listening about the homeless is I'm not against homeless people being part of Occupy because most of the people that were down here tonight were homeless. What I mean to tell you is, is that if we've got a bunch of people looking like ragtag and whatnot, then it's gonna. It's a lot of people that would come down here to support us would probably not. They're kind of scared. Uh, so I'm just saying, just to provide an environment so people can feel like they're safe. And if you are homeless, um, I do always make an offer that anybody wants to come over to my house and get cleaned up and get some clean clothes, um, that that offer is always available to them. So. Uh, Nothing like I, I worked with homeless folks for nine years. I've been homeless myself. So, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, what's going on down here, you streamer 746863? Is that um, personally, I came down here uh, after giving a talk about Occupy Wall Street one year anniversary over at Schroeder's Restaurant, uh, which is two blocks from 101 Market. And I decided, well, I'll just. Uh, it's only two blocks, so I'll go over and check out and see how the occupiers are doing, of which I'm part of that. And uh, uh, as I was sitting there having a conversation with some gentlemen, uh, all of a sudden the, the police started moving in, and there was about 80 police officers, and uh, they arrested everybody that was there except for me. And the only reason they didn't arrest uh, was because they were charging. I, I figured it out, and it had nothing to do with me live streaming. Um, I'm in a wheelchair and I'm disabled. And uh, in San Francisco, uh, they were arresting. Well, they were arresting everybody there for illegal lodging. Well, when you're in a wheelchair, uh, you're allowed to park your wheelchair anywhere you want, and uh, you can't be charged with loitering, illegal lodging, and whatnot. And uh, so, uh, I couldn't be arrested. I'm not arrest proof. They could have taken me into custody and everything, but you know they don't want to mess with a guy in a wheelchair because it's a lot of trouble for them. Uh, to do it because they have to call out a special van and, and all this other stuff. And, and it would not look good to, for the police department to be arresting a live streamer. If the camera is kind of shaky, it's cold out here in San Francisco. And all I got on is a hoodie, uh, a light hoodie. So I'm, But I'm going to stick around here for a while and uh, before I go home. And uh, just see what the cops are up to. It seems like uh, most of the police have already left. The great bulk of them. Or went across the street, down the street here, and.
and uh, they were leaving. So it was about, let's see, uh, maybe uh, 12 cops on, uh, and standing in the middle of Market Street, and there's about two, four, seven, eight over at the Federal Reserve. And earlier tonight, there were about five Homeland Reserve uh, or Homeland Security uh, officers. There was also uh, Federal Protective Services. They had about four to four cops. So all in all, there was maybe 100 police, about 40 occupiers. And uh, the only thing the occupiers got going for them now is if they're taken into custody at night, they will be released by 6 in the morning rather than having to wait all day for booking or whatever and they will be able to get out almost immediately. At least that's where uh, it's happening. Yes, yeah, so SF did have a camp out in front of the Fed. And, uh, it's been going here on for uh, since October 5th. Um, they've actually been uh, driven out of uh, this area several times and uh, like a mushroom, it pops right back up. So, at any rate, that's what's going on. Um, I kind of I kind of actually need to go home because um, I'm cold and everything and I need to use the bathroom. So um, if you want to uh, stick around and see more coverage, uh, there's another uh, uh, live streamer, one of my colleagues, um, and he's, uh, he's on, he's in, his tweet handle is at uh, punkboy in SF, and I'm pretty sure that's what he's, I'm trying to figure out, oh yeah, his um, Occupy, he's Occupy SF number three, so you can, uh, to do a search for that on Ustream, Occupy SF number three, and uh, he's live streaming right now, and you can pick up his live stream because I need to go home. I'm cold and I wasn't prepared for this, but I'm really glad that I was here to document it, and because uh, I was the only one there with a camera, and I uh, just wanted to, it did, in fact, modify the police department's behavior, and they were a lot less uh, pushy uh, because I tried to stay up as front as possible, and. Uh, and record everything to make sure that we had a visual record and a, of it, and uh, that's why I'm out here. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Um, you know, I appreciate you viewing. Uh, it shows you care. Uh, maybe next time, uh, I don't want, but I don't want to see you get arrested, of course. But uh, uh, we can always use your support when we have demonstrations. And if you're in the Bay Area or in your local town, you know, come and come out and head out and go to some protests. Bring your smartphone, and you can uh, you can live stream as well. Hi. So, yep, 40 people were arrested tonight. There was two, three dogs that were taken into custody that I couldn't remember. And uh, even though the police were fully outfitted and fully geared up, uh, they weren't. Nobody was beaten. Nobody was hurt. It was basically um, when it started happening, uh, some people started running, and we were kettled, and I was yelling, I yelled once not to run, well I didn't yell, I just said it in a voice, because I don't want to start panic. And I've been involved in these situations before, I've been uh, an activist for 41 years, and you can check me out here. Hey, what's up everybody out there? Sorry I'm so shaky, I'm cold. But uh, I've been an activist for 41 years and trained people in nonviolence many, many times, and uh, the first thing you don't want to do is have people panic, because that's how people get hurt. And I was able to get some calm out there. Yeah, the, the Amazon, I didn't get arrested because I'm live streaming, but the reason I didn't get arrested is because I'm disabled and I'm in a wheelchair, and they can't, they, everybody who was arrested here tonight will be charged with uh, illegal lodging, uh, and uh, they didn't charge, they can't charge with people in wheelchairs or people that are disabled because of the way the law works here in California. So, the camera's getting a little too shaky and I'm getting a little too cold, so I have to move on, but... Then again, uh, just let you know that I love you very much, all you viewers out there. And I'm out here representing for you and to bring you the story. I don't get paid for this. I do it out of love. And I don't ask for money. It's, uh, I just ask for a little kindness. So uh, if you're thinking about me, uh, take the time out and show somebody else some love. And uh, yeah, it's OK, Cindy. I don't mind, you know. I, uh, whenever I do live streaming and stuff, and I'm at political events, I'm always uh, prepared to be arrested. I always keep a lawyer and retainer for that specific purpose. I have a bail bondsman. So if I do get arrested, uh, um, I can get out at least. But um, I'm going to be going down this week and, and getting my press pass. That's for show, folks. So uh, 
I don't, you know, even then, but even then, people that have press passes get arrested all the time. So that's not always a guarantee. There's no such thing as a get out of jail free card. Okay, the Amazon I guess I'm gonna go home and get warm. And uh, I gotta actually try and walk up like about four blocks because they shut down all the buses down here, but I don't live that far away and I could use the exercise. So uh, much love and much peace. And uh, I haven't checked my calendar, but there'll be something coming up here in the near future that I'll be covering. And uh, so look for me, that's Freeman Sullivan. And you can Google me and uh, get all my contact information from that. And uh, you can either friend me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter or follow me on my email, freemansullivan at gmail.com. If you're in the Bay Area for the, uh, and you would like for me to come out and live stream your event, uh, you can give me a call uh, after I'm live streaming, of course, 415 499 2780. 415-499-2780 and I'll be happy to come out and live stream your event. Uh, it's non-political, uh, just uh, buy me a beer or something. Alright, so you guys all have a good night and uh, I'll be coming back to you either in the next day or two and uh, no problem there, Psycho Kurt. Man, I've, um, I spent, I was, I was stuck in my wheelchair for about the last two years and about a year of it I was putting me in my car to get outside and uh, I watch live streams all the time. So uh, that was part of my entertainment. That's what kept me going when I couldn't be there physically. So uh, I understand what you're talking about. Anyway, I'm going. I'm shaking too much. You guys have a good night. Peace out and much love.